In this quick video, I will show you how to bridge AVAX to BNB step by step. The first step is to have a BNB chain in your MetaMask wallet. If you don't have one, you can just google it and add the network manually. The second step is to go to multichain.org and click enter app. And then it will lead you to this website. Notice that the avalanche is highlighted here and you can see my balance and also my MetaMask wallet address. In this part, you don't have to change this because we are already using Avalanche Mainnet in our MetaMask wallet. And as for the token, and you can see a lot of tokens here. So you can just search your token or place the address. As for the receiver's network, you can click here and select BNB chain as your network because you want to bridge your token from Avalanche to BNB. And the third step is to type the amount of token you want to bridge from Avalanche to BNB. Remember that you should have AVAX token in your Avalanche network in your MetaMask wallet because we are going to use it later on on the transaction. Now, I want to type 100 USDC and notice that it is not the original amount of 100 because we have a gas fee of 0 0.9 and the gas fee will differ for each network and token. For example, I want to bridge BNB from Avalanche to BNB chain mainnet and I will type BNB here and you can see the chain fee is 0.1% and the minimum chain fee is 0.01 for BNB and the maximum is 2.82 BNB and remember your USDC should never go below 10 because you will not be able to bridge your USDC from Avalanche to BNB. And the fourth step is to click Approve USDC. And then a confirmation will pop up here. And you just need to confirm it. And as you can see, we have a transaction fee of 0.02 and the equivalent amount of AVAX. And you can see that I don't have enough AVAX in my account to pay for the transaction fees. So I will just reject this. But you should confirm this. And once you approve USDC, you can click swap here. And this is the last step. And the confirmation will pop up here. And you should confirm it and wait for your token to be transferred. The estimated time of arrival will depend on the amount of token you are sending. The smaller the amount, the shorter it will take to receive your token, and the larger the amount, the longer it will take to receive your token. If you have any questions about how to bridge AVAX to BNB, leave a comment below.